don't fool yourself, people. You are not so important. When comes the day that you will finally understand this? It is not hard. Look around the world. What rules the world? Which produce the air we breathe? What makes the environment healthy? It is nature. It is the pollinators who produce sour around 90 percent, 80 to 90% of all the fruits and foods we eat. It is the phytoplankton I produce seventy percent of all the oxygen we breathe. It is the trees I produce forty percent of the oxygen we breathe, and the rainforests are also responsible for many of the ingredients for many medicines. The rainforests are also the home for many other earthlings, earthling species. Around 80% of all the insects live in rainforests. People. Maybe it is time that you stop being so arrogant. The rainforest does not belong to us. It belongs to the native species of that area. It works all fine without us. Rainforest belongs to animals that live there. It belongs to mountain gorillas, it belongs to khakis, it belongs to um, gorillas in the forest where they live. It lives, it belongs to the animals that live there. The pole belongs not to the Eskimos or Inuits or how you want to call them. They belong to the ice bears and to the pole foxes and animals like that, like seals also. Can we stop parasiting the whole planet? Like we have a right to do that? Can we try to live in harmony with the three laws of ecology instead of violating them on a daily basis? And make a joke out of it. If you ask me, the Marine Animal Protection Act should the fishing industry making illegal since one of the of the biggest causes of of um, marine animal decline is because of the fishing industry. Also, many small whales and cetaceans are trapped in those nets. Should a um, law like the moratorium on whaling also not in some way or another for our uh, fishers to stop with their cruel businesses? and the playing thing of the oceans. Your taste pleasure does not make something okay, you know. That you think, oh, if salmon tastes so delicious, make it okay. Then it is also okay for people like disgusting Ted Bundy to rape because he finds it 
fine to rape. Since when is that you find something fine? A justification for cruelty. For one moment, do not think that you are the victim when you are not the victim. For one moment, place yourself in the position of the victims and watch this situation from the victim's point of view. Because what if you are the victim? All forms of um, injustice should be watched from the victim's point of view, not from the victimizer's point of view. We don't watch situations of injustice from the rapist point of view or um, situations of justice from the pedophile's point of view or situations of injustice around the, um, from slave master's point of view. Because if we have done, the slavery will mean nothing about us because slave masters were constantly saying, Oh, the abolitionists are so arrogant, they rule the forget completely our position and our rights. The separation of our property from us and destruction of our rights. Wank, wank, wank. Check out Hamann's letters on slavery. And now passive aggressive and self entitled little pricks slave masters were in reality. And how self entitled little pricks the, the animal slave traders are, or must I call them farmers? <laughs> farmers farm plants, they don't kill animals. So stop call yourself a farmer when you are an animal breeder. How raise animals for consumption. It is laughable. You are not the victim. The animals are. Just like blacks were that in the time of slavery in the 19th century America. Just like um, Christians were in the tide of the um, of in the um, Sultanate of um, <sighs> the Muslim Sultanate in now uh, the Ottoman Empire. People. Please. Go vegan. Please for the animals. Please for the environment. Please for the future of planet Earth. This is not a joke. We are literally destroying the future of future generations and we are literally being responsible for the sixth mass extinction which scientists have called the Anthropocene. We can have empty oceans by the year 49. 20 49 2049 We can be all fucking dead And it's not To be scaring you This is a fact People. Our insanity have done, have taken long enough. We have to stop placing all the problems we have to the next generation, like the stupid, this degenerate baby boomers have done. How we are responsible for this? And the excuse making for their parents, Generation X. It 
it is time to wake up. If we want to survive, we must go vegan. Check out my other videos about such topics um, as uh, environmentalism. Check out my link in the description and the end of this video where I show you a list um, of all my environmental videos, uh, at least the majority I've put in that, and animal rights videos. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, like and share if you like it. And if you like my color, my hair, put it also in the comment section. Peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis. Stopping excuses. <laughs>